You know, I worked in Ohio for summers in Cincinnati, and I love Cincinnati. And I had a great experience. It was early on, and it was a job. And I bought it with my father. I bought it and worked out really well. I stayed here. I ran the job myself. I was very, very young. And I bought it for this, and I sold it for this, and I looked good, and I felt good. It's like sinking that first putt or getting a home run your first time at bat. So I always had a great feeling for Ohio, and the people are amazing people. Thank you. I love you. Look at these people. I don't know if the media is getting this. I mean, here we have a full hanger, and we thought when this is... And this is a big, big hanger. This can take just about anything. And we figured the crowd would be okay, and we have so many thousands of people extra that we had to put them out in the runway, right? They never want to capture that, just so you understand, right? They never want to. So it's, it's really fantastic. Let's address, thank you, darling. I love you too, darling, look at this. This is amazing. So let's address yesterday, should we? Yeah. So, look, we had a tremendous rally in Chicago planned. We were going to have over 25,000 people. The arena was seating about 11,000. We had registered much more than 25,000. So what we did... <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. I understand. You're loyal to other places, and that's okay. But what happened, it was very interesting. So what happened, and these were great people. These are people like yourselves. These were people that want to make America great again. That's all it is. It's very simple. And, and they were pouring into the arena, good arena, everything nice, and all of a sudden, a planned attack it just came out of nowhere, printed by, and it was printed by people that were professional people. If you look at the posters, they're all printed. They have a mark on them, who made them. All done by a group, all very professionally done. A disgrace, if you want to know the truth. And with these thousands of people, and fortunately, we were able to let a lot of them know, don't go, because we would have had a problem like you wouldn't have believed. Just like Big Nick over here, he would have been in there, they would have wiped him out, and that would not have been good. And we made, and we made a decision. We said, and I hated to do this, because frankly, it would have been easier to go. But I didn't want to see anybody get hurt. You would have had a problem like they haven't seen in a long time. Because we have people that are so amazing. And it's not necessarily loyal to me. It's loyal to the country. We want to see things happen. We want to see things happen. And they're loyal to the country. It's OK. USA is right. They're loyal. They're loyal to the country. They want great security. They want great military. They want to take care of their vets. They want a border. They want a wall. They want... Folks, don't worry about it. Who's going to pay for the wall? Who? Do we have a good time? Do we have a good time? You know, it's sort of interesting. I watched, uh, well, I shouldn't say it, but I watched, I watched Little Marco, and I watched Lion Ted Cruz. Lion Ted. He holds up that Bible, and then he puts it down, and he lies. Lying Ted. Even Rubio said, boy, he's a liar. He lies about everything. And you know, I have the evangelical vote, and I've had great support from Jerry Falwell Jr., everybody, Sarah Palin. We've had, we have such unbelievable support. But I have the evangelical vote, and I won in South Carolina all of the, I mean, we did so well. And he was supposed to win in South Carolina, and I won in a landslide, and we got the evangelicals. You know why? Because they don't like liars. They don't like liars. 
So anyway, so, but they said, just as I was coming in, I'm watching, and I'm watching the news, and they said, well, at our rallies, we would never have anything like that. They don't have any people at their rallies, folks. There's nobody there. Nobody cares. If they had this hangar, they'd have about four people in the corner over there in that little corner office. You know, and they'll call it a town hall meeting. Do you ever notice? They say town hall meetings. They always say, why don't you have more town hall meetings? I say, because I have too many people. Can't have them. So anyway. I'd actually like to have a couple of town hall meetings, but I, I just, you know, like, we'd have to turn away how many people? Like 24,000? <laughs> we'll have 500. We'll turn away 24,000 people. So what happened yesterday was incredible. We dealt with law enforcement. So good. So good. We love our police. Do we love our police? But we dealt with law enforcement at every level. Secret Service, great. The whole group. And it was determined that if we go in, it could cause really bad, bad vibes. And you have to understand, they want me to tell my people, please be nice, be nice. My people are nice. The people that came there were so nice. And, and let me tell you, the people that were there, that came there, that were invited there, thousands and thousands of people, they caused no problem. They were taunted. They were harassed by these other people. These other people, by the way, some represented Bernie, our communist friend. Now, really, Bernie should tell his people there weren't too many Hillary people there. You know, you know why? I mean, in all fairness to Bernie, the reason there weren't Hillary people, they have no fervor. There's no fervor. Say what you want about Bernie. At least they have a little bit of fervor, right? But with Bernie, so he should really get up and say to his people, stop, stop. Not me, stop. They said, Mr. Trump should get up and this morning tell his people to be nice. My people are nice, folks. They're nice. They're great. They're great. My people are great. My people are great. So, so here's the story. So we get up, and I make the decision, and the people in the audience were really devastated. You know, some of those people got there like you. They got there like eight hours early. Now, they're standing there for eight hours like you, right? Like you. Raise your hand. We love you people. Don't worry. I'll sign autographs. Don't let them. Don't let them rip you away from that position. No one's The only one could rip you away is Nick Mangold. That's the only one. Him, we can't do anything about, right? So anyway, so what happened is everybody was fine. Everybody was behaving. And what they've done, really, on the other side, it was moveon.org or one of these groups. Bad groups. These are bad people. Let me tell you, these are people that truly don't want to see our country be great again. I'm telling you. I'm telling you that. And we want to get along with everybody, and we can get along with people. We're going to unify the country. Our president has divided this country so badly. He has been a, a I call him the great divider. You know, when he got elected originally, I said, you know, I don't think he's going to be a very good president. Who knows? I hope, frankly, I wished he were. I wish I didn't have to do this. I wish we had the right people. I wish we didn't have to do it. But we have to. We have no choice. When you look at the Iran deal, when you look at the horrible trade deals where we're losing a fortune to every country we do business with, our jobs are being sucked away. Our jobs are being sucked away. It's unbelievable what's happening. Our military can't beat ISIS. It's being depleted. It can't beat ISIS. Our veterans are being treated horribly. Our border. Our border is like a, a piece of Swiss cheese that people just come pouring across. We don't have borders anymore. So let me just tell you. And on top of that, we have a divided country. We have black and white and every other thing, income groups. Everybody hates everybody. Even in Congress, you look at Congress. You look at Washington, look at the politicians. The politicians hate each other. The Democrats hate the Republicans. The liberals hate the conservatives. We have got to change our thinking. Yeah, and if there's a group out there, just throw them the hell out. That's okay.